today I'm going to continue my journey of photo editing. And this time I'm going to retouch myself. So I'm going to try two great apps. One is Face Retouch and the other is Auto Enhance to improve the look of a selfie I took. I'm Kim from Be Your Own Graphic Designer and a Canva champion. Be Your Own Graphic Designer is a website that has over 3,500 unique images that you can use in your videos, on your websites, and in your social media. They're also available on Canva, and you'll find them if you look in the elements and search for BYOGD. And all our images should come up then. And there's some really fun ones. As a Canva champion, I can also offer you a free 45-day trial of Canva Pro, which is 15 days more than you're allowed on the Canva website. But let's go over to my screen and let's look at these two photo editing apps. I know I've covered this before, but I just thought I'd do it again in case you haven't seen any of my other videos, but please do take a look if you haven't. And you can find the apps under Discover Apps on the left-hand side column. So just click on there and you'll see all the amazing apps that Canva has. And if you click on photo editing, the ones I'm looking at today are auto enhance. You can get a sharper look with more defined colors and balanced lighting. And I think the first selfies I took probably will need that. And face retouch, because my face probably definitely needs retouching. If it smooths out unexpected blemishes and whitens my teeth and removes red eyes, I'm not sure I had red eyes in this photo, but we'll find out. I'm now in the design screen and I've uploaded a photo that I took as a selfie that I wanted to be able to use on my YouTube thumbnails. I'm just going to duplicate this so we can see the original and then we can compare the result. Let's go back to this one. To use any of the photo editing apps from the design screen, I just need to click on the image, then click on edit image. Because I've looked at them before, there's auto enhance and here's face retouch. But if I wasn't sure where they were, I just would need to scroll down in that left-hand column, and they'd be listed down there. But as I've already got them here, let's start with Auto Enhance. This is still in beta, which means that there might be some changes on it in the future, as it's still in trial, but let's see how it works. I'm going to click on it and let it do its stuff. I'm going to let it run for the whole time it takes to do this, so you can see. And it has brightened it up quite a lot. It does say to show the original here. Then if I take that off, or if we just scroll down, you can see the difference. My top is much brighter. It's much closer to the color that it actually is. My skin looks better and brighter. That's a plus. And if I want, I can increase the intensity to make it look even brighter still. That's going a little bit too pinky. I might just take it up to about 65. I think that's really made a difference. Fantastic. As always with these apps, I'm now going to click Apply. And there you can see the difference in the results. It's quite significant, really, considering it was a very rough, quick selfie I did in a not very bright room. I have already used background remover on this image, which is a pro feature. Now let's try face retouch and see if we can get rid of some of my blemishes. I'll click on that one and let it do its stuff. And this has applied it, and I think it has smoothed out some of the wrinkles. You can't actually see my teeth in this one. I should have done a really toothy grin one, shouldn't I? I don't think I had that much red eye. To have these individually to smooth my skin, or you can leave it on auto. I'm going to go back to the auto one, where it applies the three options at once. Let me click on that again, and then I'm going to click apply. And that's how simple it is. I think if you can see the difference, and there is quite a lot of difference. It really has improved my photo. Now I'm very happy to use this on my YouTube thumbnail. I'll use it for this video. If you find this video useful, I record a new video every week. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the button below and then hit the little notify bell, you'll be told every time that I publish one. I hope that helps and I'll see you next week.